Hello, Scorpio. Or person inquiring on Scorpio. You can come here if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. I don't discriminate. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of every time I upload here on YouTube. Thank you. Your core representation as Scorpio is passion, idealism, intensity, and the drive to make things happen. When you are in control, you are most able to accomplish your goals. Your essence is regenerative, transformative, and mysterious. You're gifted in seeing both dark and light areas in your life. You understand the cycles of birth and death. You are capable of rebirthing yourself from for enrichment many times in your life. Your talents are persistence and dedication. In attracting exactly what you want, abundance and success will be naturally drawn to you. When you focus on positive strategies, always be positive. Don't let no negative in when you're first doing something. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm trying to teach you all people, especially you ones that like come and take from me. I'm trying to teach you all a lesson because you're not going to grow. Sorry. You younger ones is who I'm talking to. Not, not my good collective. No, no, no. It is one little person, and, and I love that person. I'm trying to tell them they better down stop what they're doing. Oh, 888 fell out for you, Scorpio. The three eights is believed to represent Jesus in Christian numerology and is associated with divine power. In China, the number eight is incredibly auspicious. So 888 strengthens it even further. It's also associated with the international labor movement. Eight hours of work, eight hours of rest, and eight hours for workers to do whatever they want. It's not a number you see every day, so make sure to note it when you do. Yeah, it's not a number you see every day, and when you do, you need to pay attention. You need to create your own 888. That's what I know and think. Scorpio. Okie dokie. So, you've been healing during separation. You had to karmic purge um, these mirror reflections of you. You had to get Get, get all that crap out of your body. Um, you had to go within and transform. This was a battle of head versus heart. That's what you. That's what you've been uh, had to transform. Okay, awareness, crystal clear vision. You got you got a clear vision of what you have to do. You're receiving mystical messages, and you need to follow these signs, Scorpio. Pay attention. They is seven 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 out here. So that's real good luck. You know, that's your, uh, that spirit being around and helping you. That's what I think when you see sevens, you know, and seven, uh, seven deadly sins, you know, you got to think what the sevens are, but these, the sevens is telling you to go within and heal that inner child to have inner standing. Okay. Inner understanding. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Hang on, let me read you this. I forgot to do it at the first. Okay, thank you for that. Messenger, you are an angelic being who brings divine guidance to those you are watching over. So you are a, a messenger and you watch over others. That's what you do. That's what it said. You are an angelic being who brings divine guidance to those you are watching over. You're just a messenger here. You're here to help others, and I love you for that. I feel like I'm that too sometimes, Scorpio. Don't take it personal. Despite how open, peaceful, and loving you can be, people can only meet you as deeply as they've met themselves. And how they treat you is just a reflection of the type of relationship they have with themselves. Be immune to the opinions and actions of others so you don't become a victim of needless suffering. It said, be immune. Like, let it flow right off your shoulders ever so gently to the opinions and actions of others. Don't worry about others or others' opinion. Don't care about it. That's how you're going to get this abundance when you don't care about it because you're a messenger. You're meant to be here and doing something. 
Okay, Scorpio? Different perspectives, personal taste, agree to disagree, accept and allow others to be who they are and not who you want them to be. Let go of any desires to change anyone or control the way that they do things and let them live their lives in their own way. And that's what you did during this situ during this separation. You transform, you started, you didn't give a shit. You don't care. You don't take anything personally anymore. You're like to each his own. Power in your presence. Angelic presence. Catalyst for uplifting those around you. You radiate beauty, light, and healing energy. Whether you're aware of it or not, your words, actions, and presence alone impact people in a powerful and positive way. Keep infusing the world with your beautiful life force. Oh, wow. Keep doing it, Scorpio. You are a angel, a beautiful message, message, a angel messenger. That's what you are now. And you better hit subscribe, Scorpio. Damn it! You need to be aware that I'm giving you a message of encouragement, and I love you. And I hope y'all love me enough to help me, like I love you guys. And I give you a message because look, because look, that's good. Thank you for that spirit. Give us two more. Okay, so what it's saying is, you you awaken compassion in yourself and others, uh, ch wounded children. That's what you do. You 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 open the learning path of forgiveness. You teach them. You got to forgive people in your life whose opinions don't care about how they do it. Okay, they're not on the same level as you. Okay, in your situation, they're not. Um. And people that's in your inner circle, like siblings and people like that, or people younger and st stuff, you, you're, everybody's mind is on a different wavelength. Do you understand? Queen, you radiate the regal feminine. You uses her benevolent authority to protect others. See, that's what you are. You, you're a queen that sits on your throne and you help these wounded children. And you teach them about how to judge people the fire correct way. Balance of justice and compassion. Managing the fire distribution of power. You know how to be compassionate and bring justice. You know how to do it fairly, and I know I do. I know I do. Advocate. You you is, inspires you to put compassion into action. And you teach these wounded children that they got to look at their shadow side. We all have a light side and a shadow side. We all have that. Embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. You're telling these wounded children to stop, to stop putting all their focus on personal gain. Like they're wanting to gain, they're wanting to gain everything like this. No, and it's not like that. It's not like that. I'm sorry. It. When you're growing up, it takes time for all this shit to make sense. So, I'm trying to help one of you all out here if you'll listen. I don't know who it is, but you need to listen. Hopefully, all of you listen. Ooh, looky here, Scorpio. Ooh. You're you're uh you're going to receive justice. Um, you you might have to go to um. Uh, divorce court. Since I see children here and mom and healing from his separation, and this is Leaky Lindsay, Leaky Lindsay. This symbolizes a uh, undeniable authority of cause and effect. And, you know, when justice comes out, like I said, there, there's going to be justice brought for whatever his situation is. Whatever it is, uh, Scorpio, you're going to receive justice. Ace of Wands, that's the truth, what I said. This is Lee Tree, and this is creativity comes from the sky. You're inspired and energetic and full of ideas. Ooh, that's, that's, that's the justice that people... People's going to see. All these people who thought that you was shitty or whatever, Scorpio, they're going to see that you're somebody who is all about justice and truth. And I am this. Yeah, and I'm an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an Aquarius, and I can say I'm about this. A sudden epiphany, like a sword sliced through a mental fog. 
You want to gain clarity and brainstorm. You're, you got a lot of ideas coming to you at the moment, okay? Of the world. Ooh, somebody wants to take you around the world. You're the, this is the masterpiece Eunice. This is completion, mastery, um, enjoying life. That's what you're doing. You're, you're wanting to enjoy life again. That's the truth. You want to enjoy life with you and your lover. You and your lover wrapped under covers and you don't use rubbers. And don't steal what I just said. Lovers wrapped under covers and you don't use rubbers. That's, that's, that's a copyright infringement if you steal that. Pamela Gil Gillum made it up, okay? I've never seen it anywhere else, so I'm going to say I made it up. So I'm just saying I don't know if somebody else fucking has a sticker of it, but I'm going to make one one day. Okay, oh, and this is a Ada and Adam mom. So this is your twin flame. Uh, you and your, the truth is, the justice is coming. This creativeness, creative side of you has brought out the truth that you're going to travel the world with your twin flame, with your love, with, with whoever you're in a relationship with. Okay? That's what it said now. That's what it said now. I believe I forgot. I've been forgetting to use my angel ones on it. I think I did on the last two or three. Sorry, that's all I know. Who? Hang on a minute. My idea, don't steal if you're new. I, I have to say this because people love taking everything that I do. Your angels, and nobody ever did these. Nope. And if I see them on somebody's stuff, I'll come and rip it off and sell it on my channel. I love y'all. I, I distribute niceness and uh, meanness. You have to. That's, that's the art of this, okay? Your angels gave you the gift of visions. You can see things that are going to happen before they ever happen, and your guides will show you what to do and to show others in pain how to uh, get through things like this because you're a messenger. You have divine guidance. You, you watch over lots of people because you're an angel. Your angels gave you a gift to alchemize. You use the magic that the divine blessed you with. You can visualize and bring to life the life you want to have. Dream a life. You're, you're, you're getting a dream life. Your, your vision is it's coming to life. Your angels gave you a gift to speak publicly. You are needed in this world to speak your knowledge to this younger generation, especially these days. See, I know my knowledge is this because I was the maker of these cards, and that's why I do this. Okay. Your angels gave you the gift of tapping into the spirit realm and tapping into what your past over loved ones knows of to help you along your life path and journey. Yeah, I have this because I've, I've lost a kid to suicide and my brother died of a heart attack. So I have a lot of loved ones that ain't been dead that long and they helped me along my life path and journey and my grandmas and everybody and you all have people like that too. And you need to call upon them. They're there to help you, okay, you guys? I forgot to give these to you all. Okay, so here's what it's saying. Something has been consuming your whole thoughts or somebody somebody wants to consume and take over everything in your life. You know what I'm saying? Look at the schools. You know, a buzzard picks you clean. Somebody's really picked you clean and you've had to heal from this ouch. It was a big ouch. It was a big ouch. It, this shit just totally consumed your mind, body, and spirit. And you was like, when is this shit ever going to end? That's what you've been feeling, okay? Mystery. Rest. I'm telling you right now, um, somebody out here needs to listen to me. You need to go to sleep and need to heal and rest. Just rest. Put your mind and body in rest. Somebody needs to do is put your mind and body in rest today. Because you're going to have to defend and stand up for what in the hell you believe in. Whatever your belief is, Scorpio. And that was your energy, Scorpio. And that's the only one that come out uh, with a sign on it was you, Scorpio. you got to defend your wisdom now. You're somebody who's got a lot of wisdom deep inside of you. And you got to trust it. And you're here to help people. So don't think otherwise, okay? Shoot. 
I'm gonna take them too. Hang on, I messed them up. Can we have one more, spirit? Ooh, darn, showed us out some. Okay, so it says time. You are giving to you're trying too hard. Give it time and rest. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Pay attention to your heart. The, your heart knows what the heart wants. Only time will tell. Only time will tell with this person. Put it in the divine's hands in time and don't worry. And if you start worrying about it, spirit's going to get mad. Don't do it. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. You got a sacred union, and, and time is going to show you. You had to defend your your life lessons and who you loved, and and it's a, that's all right. Let other people's opinions and their eyes hold. Let them have it, and don't worry about it, okay? And I love y'all, and I hope it's helped somebody. And don't get mad at me if I might have got grouchy if I said something about these younger people because these younger people uh, don't need to do tarot. That's all I was talking about. And I love you guys, and I hope it's helped somebody. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. They ain't had enough life lessons. When you're a child, you ain't learned shit. You've never had to be responsible. That's what we mean by that. When you're 40, when you're 35 and 40, you can tell and speak on all them lessons. And I think you got to be 40 before you do that. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And the reason I say that is because um, it takes a long time to grow up. That's what I mean, young generation. And you're not aware of it because you're not grown up yet. Your brains ain't grow together yet. 25, your brain grows together. And I love you guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.